Okay. For some reason, I, I got to start the video over now. All right. Um, so I'm just doing a video for um, for uh, someone that I came across who um, came on my channel, and then I subscribed to hers. I went and checked her out before I subscribed to her channel. But she's dealing with something that uh, a lot of people will try to call more gallons. And... Um, the imagery, by the way, banging in here. You can, anybody, yeah, I, I'm not going to put a filter on because I'm not looking at the builders today. I'm looking at these, what look like uh, webs, they'll call them. They're um, webs that are all over the bushes. You go out in the morning, they'll be in your lawns. They'll be uh, all over the place, okay? Okay, so what I was telling her, trying to explain to her, I had a medical channel. It got shut down on me. Anytime I try talking about the Metellus, any of the Metellus, fucking imagery is banging. Everywhere. The builders build everything, including these Metellus. Okay, these are the, these are bio Metellus. The Nanolus Metellus, Electro Metellus. <laughs> Look at the teeth on this fucking thing. Look at the teeth. I hear, I hear, nose here, and the teeth coming in here of that particular image. You know? And these are, this is uh, Metellus. These are their houses, their housing. You'll see them in the bio um, form walking. They're in our gardens. They're in our food. They're in our water. They're everywhere. And they also spray them out of the jets, okay? So they're in the carbons. So the Electro Metellus and the um, uh, Nanolus Metellus, I call them, they are literally sprayed out of the... So you're not going to look at them as bugs because they're actually not even bio species at this point yet when that's being done. But then they come down, and as they come down, the builders are building everything in here, including the bio metellus. So um, as they're landing in our water, on our food, in our air, on our grass, everywhere we go, we're breathing them in. They're in our lungs. I've done videos and tried to show you how this all works. Now, when um, when she was doing hers, let's see if I can get in close enough here. When she's doing her videos, she's doing something along these lines here. Okay, you see them? See them? I take them up, I can take them down. Because he's, he's attracted, because they're energy creatures, okay? Oops, just like we are. We're all energy creatures. So, See him? He's grabbing onto me. He wants it. He wants it. All right, so they're looking at these fibers as being the problem. There's water spots all over this one, too, from the rain and stuff. But I'm just I'm just doing this so you can do the same thing. Uh, Robin, I believe Robin is her name. Robin, you can go outside to yours and do the same thing that you were doing with the ones that are in the skin, and that's why people are calling it more gallons. Because they're all confused. They, they go along with the medical industry. See, see a little fucker doing the same thing that the ones in the body are doing. And they're, they're in all of us. They're in all of us. The only thing is, Robin, you were probably, um, certain ones were activated. So not only do we get overloaded with certain ones, because there are millions of strains of these metallus, um, because there are so many of them. And, um... And yeah, it's fun to play around with them and stuff, but um, they're everywhere. Uh, they're in the gardens, they're in the grass, they're, they're everywhere you go. So the, people just don't think that they would be in the, uh, uh, in the human body, but they are. They're in our pets, the animals bring them in the house, all that kind of stuff. So before I got cut off, I was looking at this image here. It's pretty cool. Um, because it's full of imagery, because it's all in the in the true creator's work. There's, you know, there's image within image within image. I can put the filter on and go to town on this thing. But anyways, I'm on Metellus today, but just this one's pretty cool. So, I, I, nose right here, and he's got one, uh, let's see, where is he? Where his mouth's open, you can see his teeth real good. Right here, here he comes. See his teeth real good on that one? Pretty fucking cool, um, but they're full of images. Full, you know, full of imagery uh, everywhere is because we're all in the system together. Same thing with these metallus. These metallus, these particular metallus that I'm pointing at in the bush are a bio metallus. Um, there are two versions of bio metallus. There's a hybrid bio metallus. I call it. I just have to make up some of my own names because metallus is spelled M-I-T-E-L-L-I-E-S. My tell lies. 
Mike lies, right? <laughs> so, but I pronounce it Metellus. It's my way of uh, fucking saying everybody to fuck you, you know, you bunch of liars. So here's the thing. The biometallus are the easiest ones for you to go and play with and experiment with because they're all over the place and you can see them and experiment with them. Don't think for a second, I'm, I'm going to zoom in so you see them playing with my finger. Yes, they're going to be attracted to you. They're, they are full of energy as well. And what you're looking at is they lay their nests in here. Um, uh, and here's the other thing I, I was going to try to say, too. Okay, so the mineral streets. Everybody ignores the mineral streets. Nobody wants to talk about them. They're above our heads every fucking day. You know, you have to know the system. You get to learn what the routine is. Dropping the heavy metals and minerals all over our heads. So that, you got to think about it. They're coating the skies with them. They're seeding the sky. Well, a good portion of it falls down to the uh, ground in the form of rain and other things. So we, because we ignore the electrical system and we make everything about the bio, we don't think about the electrical effects that we're going to have in shorting ourselves out and all that kind of shit. When we do all this, so we go along with the food and we go along with the water that's full of heavy metals and minerals that we know nothing about. We don't know what our proper heavy metal and mineral makeup is and um, and what it's supposed to be and all that kind of shit. So there's a lot there's a lot to it But by looking if everybody goes and looks at the system and Stops lying to themselves then we can get to the bottom of this a lot quicker, you know um, I'm just aimed at this guy Because um, I'm talking about the uh, The mineral streets for a second because Harold Kotz talks about in his videos see certain people can get away with it that's why I worry about them being straw men or not are they straw men you know are they just propped up so they can be easily taken down that kind of shit you know like Alex Jones or one of any of the more popular straw men out there that work for the CIA so same thing goes with the metallus. There, like I said, there's a nanoless metallus because they are building the nano particles. Anything uh, that is anything nano or larger, and it might even go smaller than the nanoless. I don't know. I, I, I'm just figuring all that part out, you know, on the, on the actual size of all this. So the nano nanoless metallus is used as building blocks to build nano particles and up. And, you know, as far as size goes, um, that's pretty fucking amazing when you think about it, how it works. And you can see that the builders use those nanoless metallus to build all these other species based on their carbons. And then what size of the carbons? Nano size. That's the size the nanoless metallus are using to build um, anything uh, larger. Like for, say, the particles that made up that rock. You know, over the last, uh, you know, million years or however the hell wrong we want to say that uh, that was uh, turned to a rock or a stone. I don't know, what it, maybe thousands of years, who knows. These jets are fucking flying over your heads every day. You ignore them. Everybody ignores them. Nobody goes and looks. Nobody wants to even pay attention. Nobody looks at the true creator's work, the... Um, the images that I keep telling you about that are everywhere. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. You cannot miss them. Um, so uh, the only reason why we don't look is because of our programming. We've been programmed as humans. Uh, bio species, we pretend to be bio species, but we are programmed just like a computer. It's unbelievable. They just give us all the bullshit stories. We pretend to believe them because we don't really believe them that's where the mirror neuron and the mirror neuron manipulator come in but again part of the programs i see a bunch of metallus webs in these trees but right now i'm drawing out the um imagery i don't even have a filter on here image within image within image within image within image look look around look around right and i can and it doesn't matter what direction right it doesn't matter <laughs> you can go in any fucking direction right and it's going to be image within image within image within image from the veil to the ground. And that's the way it is. Um, yeah, there's more biometallus, what, what you guys are calling webs and other people are calling fibers. Um, and same thing, you walk up to it, tear it, right? Rip it. 
rip it. You can see the, a little dot, even with my eyes, without a microscope. My eyes are terrible. So I, I got to zoom in a little more so you can see. All right, so here's this prick at the end of my finger, right? So he'll keep stretching out, even when I stretch him all the way out. He's still going to hold on to my finger. And then even when I, if I can do it while I'm holding the, yeah, I already let go. Yeah, he's not, so he's still staying out there on that strand. If I can get it back in the view, where the fuck is it? Yeah, he's still out there. Let's try to move, there he goes, see him? Because he's attracted, it's, a, it's an electrical uh, system. It's an electrical situation. Even when they're bio size, even when they're a hybrid or a bio metallic, even then, So I say come out to the garden because it's less scary than the ones um, that are in our bodies. All right? uh, I mentioned to you the coconut oil when I, um, I, when, I, when I mailed you. And I mentioned the coconut oil and um, because the coconut oil draws them out safely. Um, they're not the quickest at killing them. There are some really toxic shit that I'm not really sure about myself on how to pull them out of the human body safely. That's why I don't do it. Um, I'm just looking around to see if I see some others. All right, so if we know we can drop whatever carbons we want on any given day, And then control the weather with them. That's a, that's another huge thing that nobody wants to admit. And my videos will get deleted for even talking about it openly. Because you can only imagine what that means when the human population finally comes to admit that we have been controlling the, what we call weather in nature for so many years. It's unbelievable how intelligent we all are. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, as I, as I go into doing this, I'm going to off, cause I offered to do a series with another guy that I, a guy that I liked. Uh, I went and saw his channel. I watched a couple of his videos. I like him. I'll see if he likes me. I put my hand out. I offered to do a couple hundred part series with him. Now the Michael Oziak channel has got warnings all over the fucking thing. So I'm not going to do any more videos over there. Um, but yeah, there's warnings all over. Every time I go there, there's new warnings. Strikes, over my limit on videos, um, uh, videos that they take down um, openly. In other words, they just they tell me that they're going to take them down for whatever reason. As a matter of fact, that's the funny thing is they take them down and then they give me a three-day uh, suspension. So uh, even though the video never even makes it up, I still get three-day suspension. It's fucked up. Um because if you're gonna el eliminate the video, then there's no sense in giving me a suspension. It never even made it up. Uh, that's the whole thing's fucked up. So the metallus is another part of it that we're fucked with all the time um, when it comes to this, these things. Just more lies that we're told, and it's so hard to get your head around the idea that everybody is a liar. Come on, everybody? Yes, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. You, you know, you you don't. Don't keep questioning it. Don't keep questioning whether everybody, every doctor, every lawyer, every fucking politician, every person in our lives is a fucking liar. Yes, they are. And we have to include ourselves as well because I've been lying to myself all my life. So I'm trying to not do that anymore, okay? Um, so now that I can see everything for what it is and I can honestly tell you everything that I know about this metallus, I will. I will, I will go on because I, I can... If you want me to, if you want me to. If not, I'll just mention it. And I'll talk about it here and there in videos as I usually do. But if you want to really know the real whole thing with the Mattels, I'll tell you a safe way to find out 
and figure out which metallics you're containing because there's a lot of different ways. There's a, uh, you know, you, you don't want to kill any of your body parts by killing the metallics, and that's usually the trick. Even the medical industry, I try to be careful about what I say, but the medical industry, I heard your video that you made about it, a couple of them, I watched a couple of them, and one of the things, you're going to the medical industry to even find out if it's more gallons or not, Okay, fine. I can't tell you to say fuck the medical industry because then I'll get in trouble for that as well. But I just tell you that I know of a safer way that won't interfere with any medicine that the doctor's given you or anything like that. And it'll um, draw them out for you. And then I'll tell you how to do it. And it'll draw them out of your body. So at least you can determine first which ones they are. And um, it's my, you know, there's going to be some other things that'll be included that I'll recommend to you that are not don't need a degree to recommend them because you should be able to do them on your own even if you do them under a doctor's supervision that's fine uh, for example a liver cleanse a liver cleanse to allow your um, gallstones to drop back down into your liver and eventually pass as well because that has to be done over a five to ten year period it can't be done rushy rushy uh, it takes time for all these things and then, and then by that time all the things that are bloating you that are around your liver which are also a different strains of metallus. They're all different strains. Some of them like it's moisture, some of them like dryness, some of them like um, high power, some of them like, you know, in other words, they want to be around the neurological system. Um, I don't, I have not found any in the neurological system, only around them. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, and I only noticed that, and I only figured that out because relating the neurological system even to these strands because that's what I was suspicious of was um, are we is this a way of control and it kind of is because uh, not these metallics because these are bios but if you picture these webs and these fibers that are in a bio form that's why I'm showing you these here today Robin is that um, compare them to the ones you're pulling out of your body all right, uh, yours are nanolis metallus, possibly, or maybe even an electro metallus. They're very, very small. So, in other words, even a microscope, you're not going to see the actual metallus. You won't see the actual carbons that are causing the problem. What you're going to do is I'll tell you what signs to look for to see them inside those fibers. Inside those fibers, look for little bumps every, you know, so many centimeters. Those you will see under your microscope. Those, you'll see the bumps. But then if you open them up or you try to take the fibers open, I don't know, maybe somebody with one of those fancy hydrogen microscopes will be able to see it. But you won't need it because you'll see it and understand it the way that I'm going to explain it to you. You'll be able to see it and understand it for yourself anyway. Um, but first, let's figure, and everybody has them. So you have nothing to feel bad about. Uh, it does suck uh, to actually recognize and realize it be only because nobody else around you in your life will recognize it and realize it. Not only will they not recognize it in you, but they won't recognize it in themselves. They'll refuse. They'll go to the doctors, and whatever the doctor tells them, that's what it is. Um, <coughs> not realizing that these metellus account for every... <laughs> diagnosis <laughs> we've ever fucking had i'm serious i'm serious because there's some metallists that like sugars not only do they like sugars and sweeteners that are inside of uh plants you know like uh fruit and everything like that but they also um uh there's other ones that like uh cane sugars rather than those kind of sugars you know so so, so they go up and up and up and those, most of those metallists go for bone uh, and fingernails and things like that. They'll, they'll go for bone type structures. They don't want, really care so much about living around uh, anything in high electrical, you know, with a high electrical system. In other words, the, the eyes, the eyes are another one. But that's a different type of electricity than the rest of your neurological system also because it's light. It's all uh, pulling in a lot of light. So uh, some of them thrive on that light, so they'll be around your eyes. And if you're sleeping at night, <laughs> I don't even want to, I, I can't even get into it all because, again, my videos will get shut down. Uh, I can uh, tell you a lot of these things, and then uh, I have to delete the video anyway. So before I get into any of that, that's why I said a lot of it I'd have to talk to you about on the phone because um, no matter what I do, they're going to fuck with me. And then I get more aggravated because my videos get deleted. Uh, or 
are strikes on them or whatever, you know, saying false information, all this kind of shit. That's why I'm also careful to make sure that I point out to you as we go along with this, nothing I'm going to tell you. I, I have dangerous versions of um, getting rid of them, and I will let you in on them over the phone. But I don't know what the outcome of those is going to be myself, to be honest, because I, you know, I've only been into this for about, I don't know, three, four years. Um, that part of it, you know, the Metellus, uh, really figuring it out, just like everything else, you know, you slowly start seeing it, and then all of a sudden, you're like, you got to be, because it's just so outrageous, you know, it seems so crazy that everybody in our lives would be lying to us, you know, nobody else saw this, it's so easy to see now all of a sudden, and nobody else, and then when you show everybody else, then you start to realize, and you say, oh, okay, they're all fucking liars, oh, oh my God. You know, it just seems so drastic, you know. You would think that somebody, some neighbor somewhere, some distant relative, somebody would not be a fucking liar. But the, I'm, I'm sorry, they're all liars. So don't count on them to tell you the truth about anything. That's, that's I guess, all I can say. And what I'm going to tell you how to do and show you how to do, you just try it. And if it works and you start seeing what I'm going to show you, then you can just, it doesn't hurt anything. It, in other words, it won't complicate any medicines you're taking with your doctor. It doesn't, comp it doesn't complicate anything. As long as you do it in small doses, because too much of anything could kill you, even water, right? Too much water could kill you. So when I tell you coconut oil and we start talking about how much coconut oil, you don't want to kill your... Um, kidneys, you know, because you'll have kidney failure if you have too much coconut oil. So, but coconut oil is the best way that I can find. And I used to think that the coconut oil blew them up. It does not actually blow them up. It's actually learning more of the electrical side of it. It's not that it's bloating them. It's just that what we see as one will actually be, I don't know the number because it depends on the size of the metallus. So uh, if it's a nanoless metallus, it could be tens of thousands of them right there in one spot that we will see as one carbon. You know what I mean? With our eyes or even under a microscope. You'll look at it and you'll say, oh my God, it's one carbon. Another thing is, is the coconut oil, as they're because there's a lot of ways they're gonna come out of your body with the coconut oil. If you're drinking the coconut oil, then you will send them out in your stool, your urine, your bloodstream will you know, circulate them, your liver will clean them all up. Every, they'll turn into liver stones again and you'll be able to pass them safely doing liver cleanses. So there are ways to uh, get rid of them. And we also had regular ways in our bio system for years, uh, unwittingly, uh, wittingly, I don't know, whoever the masters are, if they, they obviously knew because they took them all away from us. Uh, lead paint. Um, there was lead paint and electricity in our homes which led to magnetics and these reverse magnetics were killing the metallus in our homes it was for us uh, on a regular basis so I, I don't know but all of a sudden we put rubber coating on the wires to stop the electric electrical current from going through the walls and then meeting with the lead paint which was heavy lead so that it led to a magnetic ability so like every door frame in the old days you know you walk through was acting that way, you know, um, because there is something to magnetic ability about killing them. It's a reverse magnetism that kills them. But you have to be careful with that, too, because I'll tell you this. This is a, another hard part about the metallus, especially the bios, because um, they're so much bigger. The bios are bigger than the than, uh, the hybrids are uh, fairly big, too. But the um, the electrodes and the uh, Nanolists, they're so small that you probably can get away with not uh, experiencing much difficulty. That's why I believe that the fibrous ones are going to probably be an electro uh, at best uh, for size-wise. Um, so uh, the thing is, is, is you have to pass them all. Your body has to do its job and clean them up if you're killing them inside your body, which most of us... I have to do because we've all been eating the shit, you know, no, everyone ignoring the fucking trails. We ignore the trails. So they can dump out whatever they want, right? They can, anything they want for carbons, they can dump it out. So if they know certain species, like let's say biometellus, for example, if they know the biometellus are going to thrive uh, as they're coming down out of the jets by being built by these certain carbons, right? Whatever ones, let's say one through 10, one through 10 carbon, we'll call them. 
and those one through ten are perfect for the biometallus uh, uh, properties. Okay, so then they trickle to the ground. Um, they, they can be blown by the wind uh, is another way. That's the way we used to do it in the old days, right? If you control the current, then you control the wind. So if we were controlling the current, which we had sometimes were. Um, uh, in a bigger way than we do uh, today we do it a little bit differently is my point my point is today that we would do it with cell phone towers right but we had other ways of controlling the wind back then wind meaning because because wind is an effect of electromagnetic current so back in the old days what we had was crickets and then birds and other things that would lead off sound residents that is different than the lawnmower going on behind me or the power tools or whatever that's why we have 50 60 hertz coming out of our outlets and out of our poles because that's what we want around us is that 50 to 60 hertz it's good for pushing and pulling and we can direct energy wherever the fuck we want it's very simple it really is um so anyways, you dump out whatever um, metallus you want, carbons, out of the sky. I don't know how deep I am in on this. Uh, so once the metallus are down on the ground, they're growing in the food, they're uh, in the water, uh, they're all around us, we're breathing them in and all that kind of shit, right? Okay, so now the other thing I'll mention is the LED lights. Now we put LED lights on everything, on our cameras, on our phones, on our computers, on our televisions, on our street lights. Um, our lamps, our outdoor lights, everything goes to LED. LED, they, the, the Metellus love LED light. All of the Metellus love that light. They like the blue and white light. We all know this. We all should know this. It's very fucking simple. So that tells you why everybody's gone over to LED over the last 25 years. Um, I'll tell you another one. The... the bio species that eat the metallus and, and get rid of the metallus and break them back down to a smaller carbon to be redistributed back in the system. Number one, ladybugs, which are should be on the uh, near extinction list because they are very, they're having a hard time. They do not like LED lights. They do, ladybugs are fucking dying off. So if you're turning our whole system into this um, LED system, and that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. Now you can see it. I'm throwing it to you every fucking day. So why no one can see it, I have no idea. Um, they refuse to look. They refuse. They will not look. So the other one is a... It's like a locust-type creature. And it also eats metallus. And it's um, also having a problem. But they're already... We're having a problem for a, for a long time. So they might not even be good with not only this light but they might not be good with the last lights k factor and our last light was uh was a yellow that's why you remember when we were children our sun was yellow our sun's not yellow anymore you know very few times do you catch the sun and it's usually at a sunrise or a sunset because at a lower atmosphere you'll get a yellow sun but when i was a kid that's only you know 40 years ago 45 years ago Whenever I looked up at the sun, not every time, but most of the time, the sun was yellow. And um, they've changed that over the years because of the heavy metals and minerals that we add to the atmosphere are different than the ones we used to add when I was a kid. So we're changing up our natural light, what we call nature, our natural light. We're changing it up. Those are humans doing that. That's not nature flying those fucking jets through the sky and dropping the shit on our heads every fucking day. That's us. And I'm not being mad at you, Robin. I know that you probably know most of the stuff I'm telling you. It's just upsetting that 7.8 billion fucking zombies will never wake up to any of this. So you put it all together. You, you put the whole fucking picture together. You see what they're doing. Uh, before I go, because the video is going to probably run out on me. What am I already at? 20-something minutes, 30 minutes, I think. Um... Uh, I'll stay over here because the imagery is good. Um, okay, on a cloudy day, kind of like today, actually. Today's a good day for it. I'm not going to do it myself right now because I don't want... Yeah, I guess I could. Let me see if... Yeah, I'm doing something with my eyes. Give me a second. I'll do it. I'll, I'll point the camera over here, but I can't look that way because the sun is over there. I'm trying to do something. Hold on a minute. Okay, there they are. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw you a picture of something later. The image is good in here, huh? Yeah, it is. Um, okay, without looking directly that way in the sun, right? Uh, what you're going to do is, you know those little squigglies that you get in your eye? This is for you, Robin. This is this part's for you. All the mean stuff I was saying and being a dick, that, that wasn't for you. That was just for everybody. Um, <laughs> when you're looking up on a day like this where you got clouds because you don't want to hurt your eyes. You don't want too much light in your eyes. And this is a good day to do it on a day like this when it's kind of gray, right? So hey, look your eyes over this way. And um, I was just doing it for a second. and uh, But I have to do it for like a minute or so before I can get really deep. And look at the squigglies that are in your eyes. I'm just going to go back here because of the imagery. Um, yeah, look at the squigglies in your eyes, right? So over the years, you got these little scratches and your corneas and stuff. And I've talked about this in other videos. So I don't know if they're still standing or not. Um, but over the years, those little squigglies were all, only lines. They were just the little lines, the little scratches. And uh, so maybe you drop a hair in there or something, and it, it stuck, and, and your eyelid grew over. I mean, not your eyelid, but your... Um, Cody or cornea or something grew over. Who the fuck knows? But there's tiny little scratches. Anyway, well, over the last 25 years, those little scratches developed um, little little triangles, little little di triangular dots in them uh, throughout each hair. Some of them, some of them had the triangles, some of them didn't. But they, anyways, it's happened over the last 25 years or so. Okay, and this is not just me, this is everybody, but nobody talks about it, nobody wants to admit it, just like everything else. Um, I don't know what the hell that means. Um, this phone's, phone's beeping on me, tell me something. Let me come over here for a minute. I'll come back over this way for a second while I talk. Okay, I think it's been... Only three years, I think it was three years ago that I noticed it, that the triangles and my uh, scratches in my cornea had turned to little circles with tiny little dots in them. And when I get to a whiteboard one day, I'll draw them out and talk about, talk about it a little bit more. Um, so it looked to me like we went from electrical species to... Uh, and I only caught, you know, 20 something years of the fact that of the bio species because of the little triangles. So we had these little triangular dots added to our system or that was the start of the synthetic and getting us back to a synthetic species. I have no idea, but I know that it's there and I know it's been happening. And I put it together with again with the mineral streaks. I see the mineral streaks all the time. I see how everybody ignores them. I would have to imagine these fibers are, um, I don't, I don't want to imagine because I hate imagining things anymore. So maybe you've been using that terminology. I'm just waiting to see the evidence for, let's just put it that way. I'm waiting to see the evidence for these other things. Um, and that being one of them, uh, that, that that's what they're doing. And so in our food, in our water, in our air, we're being uh, slowly brought back over to the synthetic species that I talk about that, that are also sharing I don't want to get into it it's too deep, it's too deep, it's too much uh, I do have evidence for it but again, this is so much people are going to feel like this is so much on their plate to uh, to absorb all this That it, and it's really not, it's just that we all been sleeping we all been comatose for so long um and, and we can't break away from it. It's hard to get away from all the lies. Um, anyways, I, I will, I, I gotta end this video because I'm running out of time here. But what I will do is, uh, if you want, I will do a series to you. I have to be very careful about how I do it. I'll do a series with you, or if you want, like I said, I'll just get you my phone number somehow, and then you can just call me and I'll tell you over the phone how to do it. Um, I wish I could share it with everybody, the information that I have. Uh, but I, th I think something bad would happen with it anyways, even if I did a series about the Metellus, because I've done series about the Metellus, um, but like I said, they get shut down, or they, uh, the whole channel got shut down on the medical channel, because I was talking about comparing the Metellus with all sicknesses, 
everything, everything, cancers, diabetes, uh, showing where the sugar metallics come into play and all these kinds of things. And the other ones that, you know, like moisture and the ones that like electricity. And I was trying to explain it all. And it was one video after another would get striked and then disinformation and then while I wasn't paying attention because it was a, there was nobody on the channel, it was a small channel. Um, I was trying to call out uh, several people, some in the medical industry and some that propped up the medical industry. And I know I'm going to get them again. I'm going to get one of them again. Um, if we do a series about the Metallus, I'll definitely try to be cooler about how I do it and try to be smarter and how I do it, but I would love to fucking call this guy out again. Because, it, and he's not even that popular, but he's, you know, he's got a couple million fans, uh, minion, that uh, that all buy into his shit, and it, it just bothers me, you know, that uh, that they get away with all this shit, you know? And he seems like a purposeful liar. That's the other thing that bothers me. He tries to tell, he, he doesn't try. He tells people that the mineral streets don't exist. Come on, people, you all look above your fucking head. It's not an argument between him and me, whether they're there or not. It's not an argument between the conspiracy uh, websites or, or conspiracy channels compared to the government channels, whether or not it's uh, real or not, whether it's really happening. No, you all have your own fucking eyes. You can all go outside your door, look up in the sky and see that the mineral streets are happening. So that, that should not be a question. Then from there, what you do is make one excuse after another. Oh, well, the governments are doing that to make sure for global warming. It's done in the name of global warming. Fuck you, man. You're so full of shit. And and then you, you, you all go out there and then you, you know, the, the uh, you know, solar panels and shit are all controlled by this. If, you, if, if you're in the middle street to shit out of the skies, it's the same as lighting up California and then telling people they can't use your solar panels. You know, <laughs> the fucking lightning struck the, uh, uh, you know, part of the forest and because we didn't clean it out and, you know, we know how to handle forests so that we, they don't burn down if we really didn't want them to burn down. We know to put little gaps in between the trees so that they don't have something major happen. No, we don't do it on purpose. It's all purposeful. And then to pretend and go along with these lying motherfuckers like we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, did, we just didn't know. We just didn't know. Bullshit, man. We knew exactly what was going to happen. And it was all intentional. So, so there's a lot to it, and I, and I hate to be a dick because I was making this video just for this girl, Robin. So, I want, again, Robin, when I'm being an asshole, I'm talking to everyone. I'm not talking to you. If you want help, I can help you. If you're just a bullshitter and um, uh, work for the government or some kind, some kind then don't bother me. Uh, but if you really want help and you want to know what it is, uh, I can help you. I can show you exactly what it is. And as a matter of fact, I can just show you how you can prove it to yourself that, I, that what I'm telling you is, is what it is, uh, which will be the coconut oil. I just have to tell you how to apply it, how to uh, get it all done, and, and, and what to look for. And then from there, you, you do it for a few weeks, and then you'll know. And then you can do either way. You, could, you can let me know and say, oh, no, I didn't get nowhere. So far, anybody that's ever done what I've told them to do, they don't do what I tell them to do. They won't, they'll won't. they do some version of it. Like when I say coconut oil, right? They'll go and one day rub some coconut oil very lightly on a couple of their limbs and think that that's how they're going to tell. And then they say, no, it didn't work. that's not what I'm going to tell you to do. But I'll tell you what to, what to try to do to figure it out so you can see for yourself which strains you have. Um, and then we can go from there, and then I'll uh, and we'll do that. So, uh, let's see what I, I think I'm already at. Almost, my time's almost up here. Because um, I'm only one doing one video, and then I got to go. I'm just going to have my kids upload this for me later. Um, <laughs> wish I had a filter on. Uh, what else am I going to talk about?
I guess that's it. I, I just wanted to show you that so you can do a comparison, so you can run out to your garden, uh, run out to the lawn, whatever, and do the same thing you're doing with those fibers in your body. Oh, that's what I was going to mention, the fibers. So, you know, we lay in beds at night, we cover up with blankets at night, we dress in clothing all the time. What are these clothings made of? Fibers. Even the synthetic ones, even the synthetic uh, clothing, which synthetics, I can tell you a whole different ball game and a whole different story about synthetics. Um, about how they move in and out and how they break down the move in and out and what the coconut oil is doing to them. Coconut oil is not actually bloating them. It just makes them look bigger because of the magnifying effect that the coconut oil has is one reason. Um, and also the uh, magnetics of the, uh, they, they somehow lose their magnetic so they're not able to separate and go back together and separate and go back together with other particles. They're not able to do that. So we're still looking at, I, I know this because I've broken them that back down again. So I've let them get all the way to a, what I thought was something large. And then I put them in the jar, leave them there for a little bit while. And then they break back down into their separate carbons. So they're not actually as one anymore and that kind of thing. And then, um, uh, and there's no killing them. They're a carbon. So if you, some, you know, so all I can do is throw that jar of coconut oil out into, let's say, the yard. It dries out someone shovels some dirt five to ten years later shovels some dirt from that area the dust flies in the air from it and boom the carbons are back in the atmosphere and back to going to work for the system and all that kind of shit you know so there's so not like a uh, a bio uh species like we like to think of but neither is that stone right there right neither is the stone but yet you know, the stone's part of the true creator's build, and the true creator's builders build this stone just like they're building everything else. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Even without a filter, uh, without a filter, I'm just slow in my hand. You see them all? Face within face within face. Don't make me shake the camera because I'm trying to hold the camera steady. I don't have a stand. Okay. So even without a filter, nose right here, you can see the two eyes, right, in the mouth here. Many, many millions of billions of images, but I, I'm just doing these front ones right here. So look up here, nose, eyes right here, mouth down here, canine, looks like he's going to fall in the canine family, yeah. And of course his nose is another image, see the small little face there, right. You know, all over the place. I mean, I, I can go, I could do a seven, eight hour video on this one uh, screenshot, whatever, you know, take a screenshot of it. And it's just a rock. It's just one random fucking stone in some dude's yard. See the large ones that uh, should be coming in on you now? Eye, matching eye nose, mouth, see the triangles everywhere by the gazillions because everything is built by these builders what am I at for minutes 43 minutes, alright um I was going to do it with the trees too like I was saying, I tried explaining it before many times, I, no one ever gets it the trees is a good way to get your uh, head around the builders and seeing them, okay? Because you have so many, you see all these triangles everywhere by the gazillions, all these triangular shapes, they're a darker in color to our eyes right now, but that don't mean shit, they can be any color. I just, just starting you off to think about it this way. So pull out some of the large images, like eye, large, let me, let me get them back again, hold on. Okay, eye, eye, I lost them, nose, mouth, because of my finger, but hold on. We got them back. Let's see, which one am I going to do? Yeah, I was going for this one, but every time I stick my finger in, I'm going to lose them. Hold on. There's my finger right here. Okay, if I come from the top, I might not lose them. Now i got to find his other eye. It was a good eye. That's why I wanted it. This is the nice thing, what I'm doing right now, this is the nice, th nice thing about an EMNC box that I've showed people before. The EMNC box allows to take the light out of this side because right now my camera lens, 
I mean, my camera screen has fucking glare all over it. So if I can take that glare off, I can see the images much more clear. So let's go for this ape face right here. Eye, eye, monkey nose, mouth. You can see his teeth and his chin and everything. Let's make sure he's some monkey-ish. He goes, human. he goes back and forth. He's human that way. But then the mouth, the skull looks human, though. So, so whatever, whichever he is, take those two eyes, right? Okay. Everything leading up to all the uh, texture of this tree, you know, trees, whatever, bushes, whatever we got here. So take all the texture leading up to them. Now, number one, triangular shapes everywhere, right? Have an appreciation for them. But in order to get the appreciation for the triangular shapes, you're going to have to see the images. You're going to have to look at a nice eye there. Where's the other eye for that one? So, so you're going to have to take a look at the imagery that's uh, everywhere. So um, see the imagery first. And once you see, because that's easiest. Then once you see the imagery, have an appreciation for the triangular shapes that are building the images. Then when you have an appreciation for the triangular shapes that are building the images, think about the fact that the triangular um, triangular shapes that are building these images seem transparent to me. Right? So, in other words, from my hand here, all the way up to that tree, way up there, uh, is like air, nothing, right? It seems like nothing. Until you get there, you see a bunch of texture happen, right? Texture of the trees, right? So, when you think about that, what's pushing those trees into place to make that build of, in this case, trees, right? The images, number one, show me that they are triangular builders building these trees, right? That, uh, that's the simplest way I can explain it which is pretty damn complicated, but it's really not, <laughs> right? I'm not using scientific word. I'm not using, because it's all false. It's all false shit. So for me to try to come up with new ways of explaining all this to you guys, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully some of this will help. Um, 